Well, we're up to the Bowfine Stakes, a listed race over the 1,000 metres on Saturday, main event, and they should scamper along here. Horses we'll take a look at include Arctic Park, the old veteran, and uh, we'll hear from his rider, Peter Nucky, is amazing. She's apparently flying at the track. Great Nation and Stormed Out of the uh, Trials. And uh, Stephen Parnham there with an interview on Stormed Out. And also Scuffs and So Secret. We certainly are going to have a good look at this Bowfine Stake. Other runners, Marty, include Gobaton, who won last start for Richard Rhodes. Jason Whiting takes over this week. Also Real Mac, who was a little bit disappointing when first up in the Roma Cup behind No Questions. Brockow, who ran third last fortnight ago, looked the winner of Furlong out, but just weakened. And also Priceless Symbol, who may take one more run. Now let's have a look at Arctic Park last start. He's outside the leader in the pink, yellow and blue colours with Peter Nucky on board. About to peel off three wide as the Grey River Mist. In the Grandstand Cup, they run down the side of the track with 600 metres left to go and Legend Express leads the way over Arctic Park. Who did it being sent up a little closer to them now and he's within striking distance. Rip coiled up on the fence but badly pocketed coming around the home turn. He'll need a bit of luck too and he's jog trotting for King. Corporate Sam's on his outside. Hail Mary's trying to squeeze up inside of Rip when they balance up at the 350 and Who did it raced alongside of Arctic Park to head off Legend Express. King getting room now near the inside with Rip. Who did it? Arctic Park ripped. And here comes Idyllic Prince trying to thread his way through between them. River Mist is down the outside, but Arctic Park shook them off with Rip closing quickly along the inside. Arctic Park diving. Ripped Arctic Park. Arctic Park, I think, just fell in from Ripped and third Idyllic Prince. I caught up with Peter Nucky during the week, and this is what he had to say about Arctic Park's chances. Drawn two should get the run of the race. Yeah, well, it's the first time he's really drawn a favourable barrier in the sprinting type of races, which he can benefit because he jumps so quickly and he'll pose up in a good position. He's back to 1,000 metres on Saturday. Will he be suited by that? Well, John's done it before. I think he won the Hyperion and he backed up a couple of weeks later and won the Summer Scorcher 1,000 metres carnival time. So it's not beyond him to do it. He's got to deal with the lighter weighted horses, which is you look at the scuffs and the younger sprinters coming up through the ranks. But he's been a great horse to the connections and myself, so... I've got a lot of faith in the horse to go well. Well, the giant mare from the Kersley stable is amazing. She's had a wonderful summer slash autumn, and now she gets to add another good race to her CV in the Bowfine Stakes. Her last run was in the Belmont Sprint behind Beat the Storm. She dashed clear in the straight and just couldn't hold out the runs of Beat the Storm and ripped. Two lengths away then is Star Laser, which is getting a great run third and a length and a half, no questions, tracking through inside, beat the storm. They're a length and a half in front of Rip nearing the turn, then Mr Diagnosis at the 500. Who did it's a little wide, then Idyllic Prince, who's still a minute from these leaders with Mercury Halo. And the last couple were at a dale at Arctic Park, but as they set sail is amazing, move clear. She straightened up two and a half in front from Dr John. Here's beat the storm down the outside, coming with Rip and Idyllic Prince is amazing. Amazing though at the 200, still well clear. Two in front of Beat the Storm, Rip followed by Star Laser. Idyllic Prince is amazing, shortening stride. On the outside, Beat the Storm, Rip, Beat the Storm has grabbed her. And Beat the Storm goes home to win his first group race. Beat the Storm, he is in outstanding form and Beat Rip in the Belmont Sprint is amazing third. Now let's go to the Belmont Trials and have a look at Great Nation and Stormed Out resuming. Great Nation goes to the front and sprints away before the corner, but watch the way Stormed Out gets out of the ground late for William Pike. Going up around the outside and two lengths away to count the cash back at the rear. That's the order as they head down the side of the track now with Great Nation leading by three quarters to Bon Royale. Stormed Out was next on the outside. Winning scene is back on the rail with about 500 to go and a length away count the cash was the last one. Coming up to the corner with Great Nation in front, leading Bon Royale the centre and Stormed Out out three wide. Winning scene is back over on the rail fourth and they were followed by Count the Cash two lengths away last of the five as they head down past the 200. It's Great Nation in front, drawing out by two to Stormed Out getting to second. Bon Royale and Winning Scene is over on the rail. Count the Cash is further back. The leader is Great Nation. Stormed Out is driving at it on the outside. Great Nation in front. Stormed Out comes at it. Hit the line together. Not sure. Great Nation stormed out. I caught up with Stephen Parnham during the week. And this is what Stevie reported about Stormed Out's chances. Good pick up, right? Yeah, it is, uh, Dion. He's uh, racing first up in the Bowfine. Um, uh, hopefully it goes well for me. Run second in a trolley the other day. It wasn't a bad effort. Yeah, I've seen that. Um, so hopefully uh, 
you know, it's a pretty hot field, but, um, you know, he's got a bit of class in himself. So, you know, it's a good pickup ride for me. Yes, he's a good young man, isn't he, Stevie Parnham? And uh, again, thanks to all the jockeys who give their time up on Wednesday for these reports. The next horse we have a look at is the big mare, the big speed week mare called Scuffs, trained by Michael Pateman. She'll race in those uh, brown and white colours and you know where she'll be. She loves the free wheel out in front. Let's have a look at her in action here. And uh, on this occasion, she was uh, sprinting hard on the 23rd of June. Then Buster's icon and Centrum's back last of all. It scuffs at the 600 though in front, steadied by Pike. Charchi up there pulling now and he's trying to get him off the fence. He's now one off. Three quarters, Valiant's third, two lengths away. Dance works, followed back on the inside then by Centrum. Buster's icon with Brat last of all. Scuffs just left the rails now and Charchi's about to be sent through by Harvey to get on equal terms. Scuffs the leader. She's angling back towards the fence. Harvey's gone for the whip now on Charchi. Archie scuffs hands and heels and here's Centrum from the back charging scuffs with a hundred to go has got the better of Charchi Centrum flying scuffs in front Centrum runs to second but scuffs wins now take a look at the past run of So Secret he won on this occasion he's an entire So Secret and a very culty one at that he's running third one off the fence this was a 1200 meter event this occasion Hold timely rain, he's got there quite comfortably. All Fury's rider hands up now. He eases to second, three quarters, so secret third. A length and a half to Dance Works, racing over on the outside of Buster's Icon. Then nearly two lengths away, second omen. Mark is getting to work here on Silent Hero back. Second last when they turn the bend, and City Hopper brings up the tail of the field. They balance timely rain in front, so secret is doing it ever so easily. And coming to the 300, he heads off timely rain. All Fury, Dance Works, followed then by Buster's Icon and then second omen 150 to go so secret skips well clear second omen giving chase so secret livened up close to home second omen charging late but so secret too strong so secret beat home second omen well Fred Kersley set to play a big role in the Bowfine Stakes with his amazing and so secret just before we have a look at our selections, Scarfs, you would imagine, uh, you've done the speed maps, did you have her rolling along out in front? She will be, she'll find the front Scuffs and I've got uh, Scuffs in front, uh, Real Max going to be up there, and also Is Amazing Great Nation, they'll be your first four, but I think they're all going to slot in one off the fence, because it's going to be a, a battle of the speed, so they're all going to slot in, but I definitely think Scuffs, the three-year-old filly, by Speed Week, will be holding him out. Yeah, well, Great Nation's won this race the last two years in a row, and uh, you know that Vernon Brockman's been tuning him up for this event. Should be a wonderful race. I can just see Is Amazing getting a nice run behind Scuffs coming to challenge. I don't know, I just think at 53 kilograms and Alana riding her so well and the way Belmont Park's been playing that uh, close to the fence is a place to be. Scuffs to win for me. Number nine on top to beat two Is Amazing. Ten so secret. Can just get that nice run about one out, one back for mine. And I really like the way he's going. I think he'll be uh, he'll be pretty hard to beat at a thousand metres. And uh, the old war horse won Arctic Park, getting the run behind him in the uh, on the fence and uh, in the straight. If he gets a split, he'll be charging home. Similar for me, Marty. Uh, number seven, number ten, sorry, in race seven. So secret on top. Uh, if you have a look at the speed maps in the racing guide, he'll be sitting about one out, two back. So secret. So he's going to get a beautiful run throughout. I spoke to Daniel Stack during the week. And all reports are that the horse should handle the drop from 1,200 back to 1,000 without a problem. He did want to steal up last start in that 1,200, so I can't see the drop back to 1,000 being any drama whatsoever. Number nine, the three-year-old filly scuffs to run second. And I'm going to go with the resuming stormed out to run third from the trials. And to run fourth, I've thrown in number three, Great Nation. I haven't been that impressed with Great Nation's three trials but he's got a very, very good record in this race. We have two for two, so it's really hard to leave him out of the multiples. So if you're playing quartets, throw number three, Great Nation in for fourth.